Barrett's there to protect them, and even the Mountain Shocker from Yi Sun Shin dropping down and giving information would be more than enough for to keep Ronin alive, at least for the uh, first uh, 10 minutes or so. If we're going to see Execration drag out the game, it's a big problem. Ronin Esports will be able to keep up with the momentum that Execration would start entailing in the late game. I'll be honest here, it's a very even draft, but I feel like the X factor here to look at would be that Veil, because that Veil blocks a lot of access for the members of Execration to just find their path into the backline, to find their targets. And Ronin Esports, all they need to do in the teamfight scenario is to position themselves well enough that they're not too far or too close to the tanks so that in case there's any trouble, a tank could peel or Ronin can just use whatever abilities a tank has to just apply the pressure and deal the damage and win the teamfight from there. Mm, look at this uh, early invade by Execration. Uh, stealing away the purple and Chakno trying to steal away this orange buff away from uh, Ronin or at least buy some time as Chakno Sagitno will be responding immediately, Ooh. almost falling down. Savi uh, catching up, backing down. And yeah, this early invade for Execration, they really want to uh, deprive uh, Ronin any possibilities to spike up mm. in the uh, early game. So we're seeing here a side lane Benedetta with Festival of Blood and Execute. So now Justin has to play his cards right here and be careful because expect a lot of pressure to fall down here into the bottom lane for Ronin Esports because Execration, like I said, knows that Justin is going to be the X Factor here for Ronin. If they can pressure him early, which is that they're doing now, yeah. they, are, they could be able to turn it around. That could be their key. That could be their key. Justin manages to survive by the skin of his teeth. And yeah, it's way too early to tell, but... R the way the run in esports has been playing this is that they control the jungle well. Uh, I'm not sure if there was a steal that happened on the side uh, on their purple side, as silent and the rest of running esports stealing away the resources there over at the top side, bottom side. Chaknu and Mark will not be able to find a kill onto Justin. Great positioning by Naomi, just doing what tanks do for the longest time. Since time immemorial, hey, stay in that shrub and make sure that I can see if anyone's going to come and gank me here. Uh, if Protect Naomi wasn't me. there, most likely Justin would have gotten taken out of there. But now Mark and Kelra, the new, the debut duo of Execration, who had a great game number one, trying to find momentum here in the bottom lane. Oh, Kelra immediately popping the ultimate. That's the Thorn Rose that secured the first blood on the side of Execration. A big presence from Execration here over the bottom side. Pekka. Just tease Biv with the arrow and forcing the flicker out from uh, Chakno, actually. Electo final blow by Kelra to initiate that, but the final blow, of course, went to Mark with that Thorn Rose. Beautiful play there by the debuting duo of Execration. And so now the pressure is going to be into the bottom lane. Now, they, it is, they've, it, they've gotten to the point, really enough, is that uh, for Execration, they've gotten to the point where they can't pressure too much into the top seat because it's going to be hard to take down that Barrett. But we're seeing here into the bottom lane, Ronin trying to hold on as Execration continue to apply the pressure. It's a four-man rotation versus three. They're not going to be able to cut in the wave. Now, Execration spent way too much time there. They decide, okay, we're just going to try to go for that turn. Instead, Ronin, let's see if they have the room to secure it, but they decide to clear the waves instead. Execration playing this real slowly. Ronin might still actually be able to steal this if Silent gets there, but nope. Execration secure the first oh, turtle. Oh, Kelra will go and deal the finishing blow. Not enough, though. Force the flicker out, and Ronin managed to survive there. So no conversion for Ronin there for a turret just to trade out the turtle. Managed to stay out alive as top lane Sagitnu, half HP and a dream, force the flicker out there. And force it back off. Mark, though, joining in the fray. Mountain Shaker is uh, going to get committed by Savvy. Ronin. Savvy, low on HP, slowly running away. We'll go for the Thorn Roast and will be taken out without any problems. Now, people are probably thinking, why doesn't that Hayabusa help? Why was he just going for the farm? Okay, seriously, Hayabusa couldn't do anything in that situation. So, <laughs> it's a good thing that Silent just ran away there and left yeah. uh, left Savi to go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, a nope, uh, I don't want anywhere near here as the way of the dragon into the fettered airstrike. Thorn Rose misses his mark, but Naomi <laughs> immediately regretted his decision there. But yeah, Hi if Silent decided to go back there, hey man, I'm going down with you. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what <laughs> happened. That's that was exactly what could have happened. But then yeah. again, he's like, "Yeah, bro, I'll see you on the next life." Yeah, I'm the carry. You, you respawn anyway. We'll be fine here, Justin. Uh, good read there. Almost take it out. Sagitnu, but Sagitnu was able to recall away. So now what we're going to be seeing here from Ronin Esports for the next few minutes is to just really apply the pressure here into mid or top lane because that's where they have a little bit more of control. And for one trade, Ronin, they might want to dis uh, look into contesting that turtle if they can. They won't be able to break down this bottom lane tower, but Turtle still goes to Execration. 
Yeah, they wanted to trade out the turtle for the turret. Sure, it's a, it's a valiant effort there for themselves, but they could have at least tried to uh, go for a seal. That would have turned the tides here in the mid game at the very least. As the bottom lane waved the dragon onto Pekka. Pekka forced a flicker out. Chakno still chasing him down. Naomi, too late to assist. Already uh, forced himself back. Hellrise joining in on the fray. We have the we have Silent just farming out safely in the back lines. Not really paying attention. Well, not not paying attention, but you know, I just want my items first, guys. Yeah, and Ronin seems Ronin seems to be playing it right. And this is the style of ML that we were talking about earlier, where the other members of Ronin will really just try to create space in the map, try to win opportunities there. And if they can't, they'll be fine because their jungler has just been farming this whole time right now. And the beauty about the lineup of Ronin Esports is they have a good four-man, even three-man lineup to contest with Execration. They just need to be careful here. And if any of them get caught out in a bad spot, by the way, the oh, dragon, they have Kelra. to go back. Yeah, Kelra got caught, forced to get out of there, use the second skill, made it out alive, and that's a complete disengage. Uh, Naomi has always is always finding the Benedetta with the thousand pounder, As the blender should. and the thousand pounder. Yeah, but not considering the fact that they have not forced out the ultimate, uh, the second skill just yet, just to escape as the uh, Mountain Shocker will be committed just to deter this uh, initial push by execration of the bottom lane, but they're going to be backing off. Fedder Strike uh, forces Naomi back. Lots of damage. Lots of damage indeed. As Agitnu is still trying to hold on to this top lane that eventually goes down. Faraga armor surprisingly still up. Just a sliver from going down. Xborg already has some his immortality, so that's pretty much all the only item that Xborg needs. But look at that no. first damage from the Veil! Telling the world this is why we pick Veil more often than not in the other regions. The burst onto Itumax. Goodbye, Captain. All things considered, seven minutes into the game, this has been r relatively close. Uh, 2,000 goldie by Execration, but doesn't amount to much as Chaknu gets singled out by four members of Ronin Esports. Kelra singling out Justin, not a lot of damage. Is now being focused on by the rest of Ronin Esports with Pekka and Naomi. Managed to take him down. It's a 0 for 2 trade, and this is Ronin getting back their mojo as the Shadow Kill. It's committed, so get no manager to survive there. Barely, though. Barely had to use the immortality. So in the second time around, if Ronin can f spot out a fight with the X-Borg in there, they have a sure target. That X-Borg no longer has that item that brings him back to life. Now, Itumax is going to commit the Feathered Air Track to clear the waves, and he might have... Oh, that was way too close. Yeah. Again, if Justin caught that out, uh, it would have been big for Ronin Esports. But yeah, again, we're seeing here the power of the Veil and a good rotation by Exit. Um, questionable rotate if it is a really good rotate because not, they're not going to be able to secure anything off mm -hmm. of that. But I just have to highlight as uh, as this uh, bit of a standoff, Mexican standoff happens in the river. And the Thousand Pounder Blender catches the Farsa. Forces the Flicker out. Flicker in, says Naomi, and he takes down the Farsa. Now Naomi might just pay the price here with that Thorn Rose. Sagitno comes in with the last insanity. Fire missile is not going to be enough. Shadow, Shadow kill, kill enough to kill Sagitno as the rest of Ronin Esports collapse onto Chaknu, gets the knockup. Thorn Rose on the back, immediately gets burst down. Force the Flicker out of there. Chaknu on the chase, though. Speed is the name of the game here. Whoever gets to position themselves Kachow. in crucial... <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets to uh, position themselves uh, quicker in the key spots here as the Electro final blow gets committed just to get out, if I'm not mistaken. But Ronin don't commit into that fight. Whoever positions themselves first wins and gets a pick off here as Chakto almost getting knocked up there. Good thing he was able to dodge that, but the Feathered Air Strike already committed. Justin down to 50. No one's going to full commit here just yet. They go for a soft reset. And this is Execration. We're seeing the side of Execration that is a little bit careless. Mm -hmm. We saw that time and time again in the bottom lane. They tried to go for ganks, but then they got knocked off. Sagitno, beautiful Jeet Kune Do by Chaknu, but the Hurricane Dance immediately committed to knock him down, forced the flicker out, not enough. He's going to get taken out. Feathered Air Strike mm -hmm. onto Naomi to try to seal the Litho Wonder or to try to zone the rest of Ronin Esports. Not enough. Naomi ha is showing up big here for Ronin Esports. The tank support. Playing sort of as a, like a tank carry right now for Ronin Esports. He's not getting the kills, but he's showing up in the mo and bringing the moments that lead to it. Yeah, and this is converting into a mid lane take by Ronin Esports. Sagitnu and the rest of Execration are trying to defend this. Mark, overstaying his welcome, will not be able to secure that purple buff. Mount Shocker, once again, committed to see where the rest of everybody is. Chaknu. Blender connects, no follow-throughs with a thousand pounder. Time and time again, you 
at this point, a lot of eyes should be on Naomi right now and how he's just uh, going around the map as he might have gotten a pick off on Chakra. No, Chakra able to get away, but that bottom lane tower goes down. Ronin takes it. And uh, this might just be a replay of what happened in game number two. This might just be exactly what happened during game number two, where Ronin focused on objective. Maybe it was Execration uh, being careless during game number two, and we're seeing it repeat itself right now. Uh, multiple engages in the bottom lane where they just audition as what well. we would say at the max force back there goes the wave the dragon gets Naomi but I don't think that's the target that he intended for Chaknu low on HP here comes the last insanity Sagit Nu finds nobody in that fight and now execution it, it's a mix of yeah being careless but then at the same time I feel like they just didn't expect Ronin to rotate so fast now we're seeing a much snappier Ronin we didn't get to see her cast game number two but we did see game number one and what we saw in game number one was Ronin just a little bit slow on the beat right now it seems like Ronin has found the rhythm that they needed to take this game Chaknu still trying to single out Naomi here. It's like, a, yeah, we're both tanks. We're wow. going to face off against each other as the Hurricane Dash and the knockup secures a kill onto Chaknu. The rest of Execration, Mark. though. Justin, 1 HP and a Dream, gets taken out. Finally gets taken out. It's a 1 for 2 trade here for the side of Execration. Slowly regaining the momentum, but the Shadow Kill takes down the Farsa. Now it is a 3, for th uh, three versus 3 situation. Sagitnu, low on HP, blendered in, 1,000 pounder, gets stunned, give it to Silent. And he's back up. Mm, Here yeah. goes the oh. last insanity. Final Here goes blow. the final blow onto Silent, but the Shadow Kill just saves his life. Benedetta trades it out. It's now a 3 for 3 trade. Now down to a 2 for 2 as uh, Thorn Rose manages to survive. Mark running oh. away for his life. Quad Shadow Kelra trying to be the sacrifice here for themselves. Will be going up against a 1v2, but Jack is going to be rejoining Flay. Not actually finally going for the Jeet Kune Do saves oh, no. out. Sabay sabay to, gonna be pushed on the bottom lane and as well with the top lane dito ng Ronin Esport. How's gonna be it defending Kaya ba ng Feather Air Strike dito na ito? Max, na hold dito ang siege na magagaling from Ronin Esports. Ito na Buebelo, si Chuck no, they want to clear itong si Lord pero tuloy-tuloy lang pagbasag Mountain Shocker pop by the side of Ronin Esports getting a lot of information. Nasaan ba nakapuesto itong Dress of the Members ng Execration? Liliko sila dito sa sa bot and now look at that Hayabusa apakabilis mag clear peka in the rest of the gang lumiko dito sa mid naku po sa gitno last insanity na burn na dito disengaging na ba Ronin Esports o meron pa bang second round moving forward dito sa baba lumiko pa nga there's a jump in flicker look at the hurricane dance speaking of eto Max na kailangan mag defense dito Chakno pulado down to 1% na kanyang buhay makakaligtas pa and kinain ni Lunok sabay din ura neto ni Savi si sa gitno Medyo masakit, no? Makakaligtas pa ba si Savi? Last Insanity as well. The counter go for the execration. Ang gandang bawi nun. Yes, the defense pa naman nila dito. Pero, wow. Look at how tanky doon si Savi. Kung hindi ko, meron lang siyang pang alis doon sa may bako. He could definitely live on another day para dito sa laban na to. And execration still have a, a slight breather dito sa laban nila against Ronin Esports. Pero it's only a matter of time na lumabas muli ang susunod na Lord. And if that happens at nakuha na naman Prof B ng Ronin, it might be the end of the run dito na execration sa MPL Invitational. I think uh, malaking bagay nga ang susunod na Lord dito para makahinga. Pero look at that. There's a setup na naman. Walang bababa. May maiipit. Pero na-pick off dito si Kelra. Counter-initiate from the side of execration. Doing a great job for the exchange. Wala na sila. Kula sila na isang pan setup. Is this the uptime for execration na pwede sila mas maging agresibo? Bakit? Kasi wala yung pang setup na mage. The wind blow coming from from that veil. Ang sakit din kasi talaga ng damage ng veil. Eh. Nag-pure damage item siya. Meron siya lightning truncheon going to the holy crystal and uh, divine glaive. Kumbaga hindi na siya nag-defensive like uh, some other players would definitely go for a winter truncheon para hindi sila ma-burst down kagad ng mga assassin. Pero mm -hmm. hindi niya kailangan yun eh. Ganun katiwala dito si Justin sa kanyang mga tank. And look at that. Chakno trying to have a jit do and a knock up as well doon. Pero ang hirap ni. Eh. It was actually Naomi yung akai dito ng Ronin Esports giving the vision, giving uh, a headache ngayon for the execration squad hindi makapasok basta-basta doon sa backlane ng Ronin ang execration even uh, that was actually Chaknu mm -hmm. na sinusubukan niya na i-pick up yung mga backlanes dito Tama ka nga dyan, Rob and look at that 40 seconds para sa next Lord highly contested to dapat ang gawin dito ng execration they need that Lord very bad pa hindi para uh, matapos yung laro para sa execration kumbaga para makahinga sila 
sa ganitong sitwasyon and sama makabay sometime makabalik sa kanilang uh, paglubog sa larong ito and look at Ronin very aggressive sa kanilang mga positions ah oo eh saka ano eh Uh, yung dalawang uh, barako dito ng Ronin Esports in the name of the Barrett uh, even of the Akai dito ni Naomi look at that pasok sila dito sa gitna every talon or every slide dito ni Chak nung sinasalubong siya ng wind blow napapansin mo nahihirapan siya eh iset up instead na siya man si set up siya yung sineset up dito pinapalipad lang siya dito and if ever na maganda position ng pagkalipad dito Naomi fuma follow up ng hurricane dance puro hurricane pala to eh oo oo So, sobrang uh, talagang bagyo kung bagyo dito for Ronin Esports pero ito ha, this is gonna be a bait lord probably coming from Ronin Esports na uh, finoforce nila na pumalag sa kanila ngayon ang execration eto na, speaking of palag, Chuck no, pulado agad habang tumatalon-talon pa dito from the backline, Speka and the rest of the gang dalawang miyembro, pulado pwedeng umabante dito ang execration sa ganitong sitwasyon pero pas pinili ng exec to play it safe and pwede naman tayo magkaroon ng wave 2 or the round 2 sa kanilang clash moments Medyo ano ah, medyo mahirap tong decision na to ngayon mga kaibigan. Mm -hmm. This is a clear uh, around 9,000 lead ngayon ng Ronin Esports. Uh, sa gitno pa rito, wala siyang uh, fire, uh, Firaga Armor. Paano ngayon ang last insanity going into the Lord? Pero na-pick off doon si Justin. Nakakuha nga si Justin pero the Lord. Nakakuha naman ng Ronin Esports. Hurricane Dance, naku po. Chuck no, what a knock-up dito. Flicker out the shimmy shake is real. Kelras, well, sinayawan, kinain. At idudura din dito si Chuck no sa pader. Still savvy, doing a great job. Nahuli nila, malikot na si Chuck no. And as well, Kelra pala ang napekto sa nila dito. Hindi pala si Chuck no. Pulado lang si Chuck. And now sa git no, itong mga new family nag-aatrasa na sa harap mismo ng isang akay. Oh my, kailangan nila mag-regen na ngayon dito, Prof B, because the Lord is already approaching on the mm -hmm. top lane. Walang tore doon sa itaas at bukang sasabay-sabay dito ang mga minions coming from the mid and as well with the bot lane ng Ronin Esports. Yes, wala rito yung kanilang bail, pero kung makikita mo yung mga HP dito ng mga base turrets ng execration, it's just a matter of time. Siguro dalawa or isang normal nga lang ng isang YSS could be able to bring down itong mga tore. Sabay dito sa ibaba, this gonna be it. Bukang malilinis ang mga tore dito ng execration. Pero positioning dito ni Sagit as well as the Etomax, they don't want this turret na maibitaw. They're trying to defend at all costs ang kanilang mga tore. Pero the setup na pinapakita dito ni Justin ay na nga may paghatak silent going in. Wave the Dragon in inbayangan dito si Ebusa to stop this one. Chuck no makakawala pa ba? Nasa ng follow up dito ng mga teammates ng execration. Makakaligtas si Chuck no for now. Ed, hindi ata makakaligtas naman ng tore kapalit. dito ng side ng execration pero na pick off nila si Ayabusa that's a very aggressive Ayabusa napansin ko masyado siya malalim doon malalim that was well played coming from Chuck no ang mm -hmm. laki ng oras na binay niya doon uh, the reason bakit na pick off doon sa may loob silent was all by himself 4v1 yung naging laban doon sa loob ng base pero ngayon kailangan umabanting ngayon dito ng execration look at the feather airstrike pero look at Justin going in doon sa ating farsa hinaabangan dito ni Chuck no nasa na ba si Justin Hurricane Dance the setup ka Coming from Chuck Nu, siya na ulit, napapaligiran. Eto na, si Mark, and nanakap na naman. There's a jump. Naku po, the zigzag moment. The triangle, open glass, insanity, galing sa damuhan. Peka, pulado, makakaligtas pa dito. Now, sumiset up si Eto Max. Sumegway pa, hindi tumama ang kanyang pagpukul dun. Ang laki ng ginagawa rito ng isang fail. Grabe, look at the knock bang. up, look at the... Burst damage, burado na naman dito ang isang farsa. And one thing then Prof B, the reason bakit hindi makaabante dito ang buong execration squad is ang bilis mawala na kanyang minion wave. It's all because of this veil. Ooh. Ang bilis kasi ng cooldown ng wind blade eh. Tsaka ng wind blow. That's the only thing na pang setup niya eh. ba? Diba? Again, may follow up lagi si Naomi. Kung, mak kung makakatalon or makakajump, eh, pwede sundan ni Naomi dito which is an auto pick off auto delete etong uh, hero na to pagka naipit ng combo ni Naomi and the veil or mina Justin Oo, ang kailangan na mangyari dito for the execration squad is that their assassin could be able to penetrate the backlines here of the Ronin. Kasi ang ganda ng ginagawa dito ng mga tanke nila. Uh, Naomi been uh, very consistent. Look at that, nabasag na yung base turret dito sa may bandang gitna. And ang tanong dito, will Ronin Esport be very disciplined on this match at hintayin pa ang susunod na Lord? Pero mukhang hindi na. Look at the feather airstrike ni dito ni Eto Max. Yun ang nga hinahabol naman ni Chuck no dito. Si Justin sabi niya nandun sa likod. Masyadong malalim pero tinatalon dito ni Chuck no. Ginamitan 
na rin nila ng feather earth strike na para maging pulado etong si Justin pero nahuli na ba si Kelra natakpan pa ng camera habang kinain na nga ng dinosaur sabi din Nora nasa ng follow up there's the defense coming for execution the counter go Naomi pulado pero mas tinalo niya ang likod grabe naman humakbang yun look at that Naomi pulado mapapapang kanya immortality and follow up with the last insanity sabi buhay pa rin naman sabi sabi lang naman daw ang ganda rin ng, uh, ng pa, time na pag pick off doon ng execration that was the time na wala si Justin mm -hmm. and uh, yes and uh, clearly na nakita natin that the yung why or rather si Silent di Hayabusa was being picked down pinuntahan na ng dalawang assassin dito ng execration and now will be what's gonna be it will execration be man enough na kunin na ngayon itong lord or hahantayin nila na Roni nang mag-initiate at sila at susubukan nilang nakawin ito this gonna be the third lord Prof B oh. um, para sa akin maganda sana kung nakaposisyon ng exec eh. kasi kung titignan mo damo gaming si Justin eh. lalabas na lang din auto pick off eh. ba diba? so yun ang pinaka uh, crucial dito is hindi mo alam kung saan damo nakatago ang isang veil or Justin very ano uh, ang gaganda nung position niya nang bibigla etong si Eto Max kasi isang combo lang siya eh paglapag niya dead body na siya ang ganda rin kasi ng communication dito ng tank nila eh uh, together mm -hmm. with Justin look at that look at the Akai siya yung nagbibigay dito ng vision that's the reason bakit nakakakuha ng mga magagandang pick off or rather mm -hmm. ng mga uh, ano dito si Justin into the veil pero to another pin na naman dito para sa side ng execution but Mark able to be able to run away. Pero yun na nga, Winter Trunchon, kumasa, Pyron, there's a flicker out, nakaligtas, Pop Immortality, Chaknu, makakaligtas, nakuha nila si Justin from the back lines, and kumakasa dito si Kelra, masyadong malalim, hindi ka ililigtas ng iyong anay, for an eye, inaabangan na the rest of the gang, sa Geeknu, wala na siyang firaga, and hindi ka masasagip, at masakit nga ang nangyari dito, now it's already down one hero for the side ng exit, make it double nga ba, eto maxi hindi magandang position ito dahil ikaw ang inaasahan mag-defend ng base militar ng execration. Yes, and it's look like Ronin Esports, not only on the defending, is that this is a good opportunity for them to be able to take down the Lord uncontested. Wala dito si Sagit, who is gonna be potentially na makakuha with the last insanity. Pero ito na mga kaibigan, the third Lord will be taken dito. Pero sabi ni Chuck, no, susubukan ko. Ito, kunin with my tank show. Ito na, nang-intimidate siya, pero the knockup is not enough para na makakuha ng steel dito. Chuck Nu, I think, mapapanish siya dito. May patam sa panga. And there you go, Chuck Nu will fall. Oh my, this is it. Probably for execration squad, tatlong miyembro dito sa kanila ang nawala. And it's gonna be Mark, it's gonna be Kelra, the two new prodigies dito ng execration to be able to step up here on game number three. Kaya ba nila to? Depensahan, Prof B. Let's see kung paano gagawin ng diskarte ng uh, execration sa ganitong sitwasyon. Ang kailangan lang dito is magandang uh, position dito ni Eto Max. Eto na, this might be the final push The reverse sweep ba ang gagawin dito ng Ronin Esports? They're trying to hold Sagitno doing a great job for the last insanity to clear etong si Lord moving forward. Meron silang minions. Nangunguna si Sabi dito sa gulo. They want to focus on the minions para lang madelay dito. Pero tuloy-tuloy and Ronin Esports will win the series against Execration. Wow, that was it for our first series here on MPL Invitational. Breathtaking. Indeed, what a comeback sweep coming from Ronin Esports from the snowball of execration on game number one.